Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Mwai. And today we'll model this pipe in SolidWorks. This will be practice exercise 21 of this playlist. And I will provide its file in the description. So you can download it from there and you can practice. So let's go to your SolidWorks new, select part and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So first of all, as usual, uh, I'll always change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS. Okay. So let's draw the front profile of this pipe. So let's go to your line command. I will make two lines, one line here and one line here. Uh, let's dimension these lines. Let's go to a smart dimension and I will dimension this as uh, 100 millimeters. And similarly, I will make this dimension as 100. So I'll select this line, hold control, select this line and I will make them make equal. Okay. You can see that these uh, lines are fully defined. So I will apply, let's say a fillet here and this radius would be uh, let's say 50 millimeters and select OK. So my first profile is done and I will make another profile on the top plane. So exit this sketch. Uh, let's make another sketch on the top plane. Let's go to your uh, line command. I will make one line here and I will make one line here. Uh, let's go to a smart dimension. First I will uh, dimension this angle and let's say this angle is 60 degree and now I will dimension uh, uh, this point to this point it would be 100 and you can see that it is still underdefined so let's say this dimension is 50 millimeters and uh, now I will make a radius here and this dimension would be let's say 40 millimeters and select OK. Now you can see that this uh, sketch is also fully defined Okay, so let's exit this sketch and now you can see that we have two sketches. Now I can use uh, a project curve command. Let's go to your features, curves, project curve. I will select this curve and I will select this curve. And now you can see that these two curves are combined to form this project curve. Uh, if you want to learn how projected curves work, uh, I had already created uh, two to three tutorials on it. So I will give its link so you can uh, uh, practice and you can watch these tutorials. So let's uh, press here OK and now you can see that a projected curve is uh, created and uh, let's go to here top plane select uh, normal to view and now I will make uh, a circle here. So let's go to here sketch and uh, I will make one circle here having diameter let's say 30 millimeters and uh, select exit sketch. Uh, now I'll go to uh, features, sweat boss and uh, select a sketch profile, select this one. This is the profile and uh, this is the path. Okay. And now you can see that the preview of your pipe. Uh, so it will be a solid pipe, uh, but uh, I want a hollow pipe here. Uh, you can see that it is a uh, solid pipe. So let's click here thin feature and uh, let's say I want thickness 2 millimeters and uh, this thickness would be outside okay and uh, you can check all these parameters uh, guide curves now here I am not going into the details of uh, these uh, settings just press ok and now you can see that this uh, pipe is created and let's hide this projected curve and now I will make a sketch on this face so let's select this face select a sketch and uh, select circle. Uh, I'll snap this uh, center point and I will make one circle having a diameter 60 and I will convert this circle and select exit. Uh, now I'll go to a features boss extrude. I will select this sketch and uh, I'll go to uh, this contour, clear selections and uh, I need let's say 2 millimeter extrusion and select OK. Uh, I think it is not the correct extrusion. Uh, I have to check the uh, reverse extrusion box, reverse direction and merge result and select OK. So now you can see that this part is created and uh, I will do the uh, same operation here. Select the sketch and view normal I will make one circle having diameter 60 millimeters and I will convert this circle 
I'll go to your features extruded boss and I will extrude it to 2 millimeters. Make sure the direction is correct. Just select this box reverse direction, merge result and select OK. And now you can see that we have a projected curve with flanges. Uh, now I will make 8 holes on each side. So let's select this face, select the sketch and let's go to here circle command. I will make one circle let's say here and uh, this dimension would be let's say 5 millimeters. It is still underdefined. I will make one center line here and now you can see that this circle is still underdefined. So I will snap this center point of the circle and I will snap it onto the center of this center line here and now you can see that it is fully defined. So I need the eight number of patterns. So I'll go to here circular sketch pattern command select this and uh, I will select uh, entities to pattern is this circle and uh, I will uh, let's say I need eight number of patterns and uh, this point would be this circle. Uh, I'll select this one and now you can see that we have eight number of patterns here. So select OK and now I can use uh, extrude cut command to cut these uh, holes. Let's go to your features extruded cut and uh, I will use this option up to next and select OK. Uh, I'll do same operation on this side. So select this face sketch view normal. So let's make one circle here and uh, this diameter would be 5 millimeters. Uh, I can uh, constrain this circle using a pitch circle dia which is called PCD and uh, let's go to a circle and let's say I will make one circle up to here and this dimension would be 45 millimeters and PCD is not uh, part of your final geometry so I'll convert it to construction geometry. Uh, I select this point and I will select this uh, circle and I will use this relation called uh, coincident and now you can see that uh, it is still moving in this uh, uh, circle so I will snap it here and uh, select this point select this point and I will make it vertical now you can see that uh, I have constrained this uh, circle using a PCD so I need uh, eight number of patterns I'll go to a circular sketch pattern and I will select this circle and I need eight number of patterns here and select OK and now uh, I'll exit this sketch and uh, I'll rotate my model and uh, I'll go to here extruded cut I will select this sketch that I have just created and uh, I will go to a contours clear selection and uh, I will use this option up to next and select OK. And now you can see that we have 8 number of cutouts and we can use uh, bolts to connect this flange and uh, let's say I want to uh, apply some fillet on this side and uh, this is quite big fillet. So I'll reduce this uh, radius to let's say 1.5 or 1 or maybe 1.5 millimeters. Similarly, I will do the same operation here. I will select this edge and select OK. And I will apply some uh, chamfer to these uh, holes and uh, I'll reduce its size to 0.5. I think 0.5 would be enough. I will select this one. I will select this one. Uh, so you can see that I have just uh, applied the flit and chamfer to these uh, uh, flanges. Uh, let's say I can apply some fillet to these uh, uh, inside edges or uh, uh, inside part of this uh, pipe. So let's go to uh, this fillet, select edit feature and uh, now you can see that this preview and select OK. Lastly, I will apply some uh, appearance to this pipe. So let's go to here appearance and uh, let's go to here metal. Let's say I will search for uh, steel and uh, let's say this one. Okay. Let's go to here view cube. I'll go to here uh, isometric and I'll use this option perspective and uh, I will save my model. Practice exercise uh, 21.
and select OK. So uh, that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it. And uh, if you have any questions related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.